everybody, it's so Buddy Night Dragon Iron, and welcome back to Higarashi Mayakashi. Now then, I had to redo this entire freaking thing. So apparently when I reloaded this game, Steam decided to butt fuck me up the ass and now my save file was gone. So the good news is I was able to get my I was able to basically go through all of this again. And I ironically got a an achievement saying goodbye sister. So I'm guessing whenever I started setting this up or whenever I started this Last time, it didn't register that it was connected to Steam, and so as soon as it connected to Steam, it got rid of my save file altogether, which kind of ticked me off a little bit, but no big deal, no big deal. Let's just jump right back in. That's the most important thing, and let's enjoy ourselves. AD, 1982. The fifth year of the series of mysterious deaths in Hinamizawa, also known as Oyashiro-sama's curse, one year prior to Keiichi Mayabara's transfer. Oh? A year before? Hmm. I didn't hear a wake-up chime. I'm not in school anymore. My brain is half asleep, but I'm aware of that. Waking up at the same time as the chime would go off at school doesn't feel good. I can't go back to sleep after this. But still, I'm not going to live a torturous school life anymore. I can make today either happy or boring. It's up to me. Hey, that's really positive. I feel like I'm alive for the first time in a while. I didn't have any other clothes, so I was still wearing the school track uniform. It's supposed to have been designed by some famous Italian person, but it just looks plain to me. It looks plain to me. It really doesn't feel great to still be in clothes from that school. I want to enjoy my freedom as soon as possible. I especially don't want to walk around outside wearing it. I should have Kasai bring me some new clothes later. And I should think of redecorating this room. After all, this is going to be my castle from now on. This is a room in a gorgeous apartment building in the suburbs of Okinomiya. The property is one a realtor in my dad's conglomerate obtained after foreclosure due to some sort of dispute. Most of the residents moved out during that. So while there are plenty of rooms, it's a lonely complex that feels devoid of people. Plus, with the exception of the manager and a scant one or two others, all the residents are shady-looking people connected to my dad. It probably won't be much longer before the virtuous residents are driven out. The apartment I'm living in used to be the room they'd use for viewings, so it looks like a room in a business hotel. It's fully furnished, but lacking in daily necessities. I'll buy those things over time, though. <laughs> I nodded to myself. It might have looked stupid, but it helped psych me up. At the school, there was a TV only in the common room, and we weren't allowed to watch any ca cable channels. Why? I zapped through all those channels as a form of emancipation. <laughs> it was early in the morning, so nothing interesting was on. But I enjoyed it anyway. Commercials are fun to watch. Kasai dropped by with lunch right when I started to feel hungry. シオンさん、おはようございます。<laughs> I have to be serious about my plan. I can't let myself take advantage of Kasai's wallet forever. それは宅橋限りです。でもいいんですか？外を歩けば、やがては親族の誰かに見つかりますよ。そこは少しは考えてある。そこでミオンの力がいるわけよ。笠井さん、本家に電話してもらっていい？ミオンが出たら、上司変
It's funny to me that we're calling the main house, even though that's the place I most want to avoid at the moment. I take the handset. Confined? <笑>学園では外部との電話は禁止だからね。それが電話してきたってことは血の巡りの悪いお姉でも意味がわかるでしょ。あんた学園抜け出したの？そうやって。そんなことはどうでもいい。会いたかったですよ。お姉。That was as far as I could take it, and Mion had her had hit her limit too. <laughs> we both burst into laughter, unable to keep up our act. It's been a while since we laughed out loud with each other like this. なんだ。本当に出そうしたの。いや、やっく。私を閉じ込めておくにはちょっとケービが甘かったかもね。ね。学園はジオンが温泉に出そうしたことに感謝するべきかもね。本気のジオンだったら全施設を爆破してから出そ
お姉にはちょっと私のバイトのお手伝いをお願いしたいんですなるほどねそういうことかで具体的にはどうするの We can communicate fast in a situation like this. We don't have to get into details because we know what's on each other's minds. Yoshiro Oji san, what is no Mikata that the night is ka? Yoshiro Oji san no motte o mise no doreka de baito de kinaika da shin shite ni mas. De, shift ga kimata ra o ne ni lendak shi mas kara. Anta ga baito shite ri kan tae ni wa kiete ria i wake da ne. Men do kusa i yaku da na. Nan desu ka o ne? シュランクベルタの経気でもおごるから。本当にいいよいいよ。よけるよ。あんたの頼みは断る後が嫌だ。さんきゅです。今度シュランクベルタのケーキでもおごるから。シュランクバーザーズ。可愛いタルト山ほ
Uncle Yoshiro pounded his chest with his fist after offering me his assurance. He seemed glad that I turned to him first. <laughs> I knew he was reliable. He understood my situation straight away and promised to help. One of the store clerks brought out a work schedule. There are many things I'm unfamiliar with written on it. Ah, uh, of course, Angel Mort. I'm depending on Mion for my work. Our schedules have to match. Of course, Uncle Yoshiro understood that. But I also know he couldn't afford a selfish part-timer who only works when she wants to. In the end, he decided to hire me as an office helper, not an official worker. As a temp, I wouldn't have a work schedule. My uncle also decided to pay me out of his own pocket. <laughs> Once all the business talk was over, my uncle hounded me with all kinds of questions. He asked me things like, what was it like in the prestigious girls boarding school? And so on. Apparently there were all kinds of rumors going around about St. Lucia Academy I was confined to, and everyone was curious about, that, about it. I added a few embellishments of my own as I explained how unordinary life at that school was. My uncle looked extremely delighted to hear all the little details about life in a secret garden for girls. Of course he did. Horny ba- <laughs> Horny bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Once my uncle was satisfied, it was my turn to ask all kinds of questions. I wanted to know if anything peculiar had happened while I was gone. I won't be able to act like Mion unless I can fill in the gap of information left in the past two years. まだほんの少しピリピリした じゃあ、私が閉じ込められたすぐ後だ。戦争も終わっちゃって、みんな<笑> まあ、確かに否定はできないかな。私ら子供にとってはダム戦争はかなり遊べるイベントでしたし。ひなみざわ、the <笑><笑> only village where you could get arrested and your parents are like, "Great job!" <笑> Uncle Yoshiro seemed exasperated at how different kids and adults treated the conflict. What the hell? そう
しかも雛見沢の守り神お社様を祀る渡流しの番だね当時お社様のたたりだって騒がれたのを覚えてますあれ子供的には結構怖かったなああお社様のたたりねその翌年にも起きたんだよなそうそうあれも怖かったですね何でしたっけダムの賛成派の男が事故で死んだやつ北条だっけしかもまたしてもお社様を祀る渡流しの日にこれはもうたたりしかありえないってずいぶん騒いだっけ Seem oddly excited about that. あれは怖かったですうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんま、<笑> 
もう分かったよ別に隠しゃしないよあったんだよその後もあったっておじさんさっきから何の話 The curse Tick When I was very little I always had this tick before I heard something bad It was like a gnome who lived inside me was giving me a warning Like he was poking me with a small needle When I felt this tick before my parents called me They'd always either chide me or tell me something bad So I used to run away when I felt it But my senses seemed to have grown dull over the years Even though my gnome poked at me I just sat there えっとな実は三世派の北条が転落事故で死んだ次の年にもなつまりは去年なんだがまたあったんだよあったってまた渡流しの日にそんな連続でまたそうなんだよほら雛見沢の神社あるよな古手神社あそこの神主が It suddenly just clicked in my head. This is the year that Satoshi disappeared after killing、um, her, his and Satoko's aunt. We get to see what happened finally. It literally, it, it literally just clicked in my head. Why did it take me that long to just realize that? Feel free to call me an idiot in the comments below. Do it. ビオテのはお昼だと思うけどね。休止したってのは本当。ガンヌシさんは渡流しの準備で大変だったと思うし、あの頃は少し体調崩してたみたいだからね。急性心不全とかそういう感じのよくあるやつだったんだと私は思
people talked about the curse more intensely than ever, both in Hinamizawa and Okinomiya. I have to rethink this. Oyashiro-sama's curse has drastically gained credibility while I was away. It was still unclear when, with the first two incidents. But after it continued for three years straight, people's doubts changed to convictions. Even though the priest who died on the third year wasn't an enemy of the villagers, hmm, the fact that people in Hinamizawa didn't care for him much added even more credibility to the idea. The priest had looked strict and scary, the way he spoke was always so formal. But in reality, he was very warm and reserved. Maybe it was because he was a son-in-law, having married into his family. I'm sure the priest and his personality were the perfect fit for managing the shrine that was used for summer festivals and village meetings. But that gathering spot style atmosphere of the shrine changed completely when the dam war broke out and it became the headquarters for the Onigafuchi Guardians. Prior to the dam protests, hardly anyone worshipped Oyashiro-sama. Of course, the devout elders paid worship to him, but the average person treated our god like how you treat fortune telling. Once the dam project's protests began, Oyashiro-sama was suddenly hauled out as the symbol of the village's resistance. Tracing the Oyashiro-sama faith back to its roots. It was an exclusive, elitist faith that believed its members were descended from a holy ancestor, different from the masses at the foot of the mountain, and that those tainted masses should never come near the village. Of course, such self-centered ideo ideology wasn't accepted anymore in peaceful post-war Japan, so this doctrine was abandoned over time. Still, that idea remained, and they trudged it back up to fan the flames of nationalism and unite the town against the damn project. With the revival of those ideas, things only grew more radical by that day. And it didn't take very long for the Onigafuchi Guardians to become aggressive. I thought it was called the Onigafuchi Defense Alliance. Or wait, that was later. Uh, court, it died, it was later, what the hell. After that, we were in a state of war. A hundred million burning as one. Kill the white savages! Want naught but victory! Adults and kids both were gnawing at the bit of avid to repel the foreign invaders. Describing it like that makes it sound kind of awful, like a reminder of the dark times of wartime Japan. That or just America. But like I said before, for us kids it felt less like a war and more like a village-wide festival. Yet despite calling it a festival, dissenters were treated coldly. Their heartlessness lived up to the expression, wartime regime. The Hojo couple who voiced their acceptance of their damn project in the midst of that atmosphere were truly brave. Then, on the second year of the curse, they died in an accident. And everyone believed it was Oyashiro-sama's curse without question. So they were branded traitors and enemies of the village. The Hojo couple faced worse than just being ostracized as traitors. Everyone gave them the cold shoulder and talked behind their backs. The only person who didn't treat them badly was the priest. While the priest never objected to the anti dam movement, he also never objected to the Hojo couple's advocacy for accepting the government's eviction and re restitution to rebuild new lives. Those unforgivable Hojos became a slogan as the three of the three as the three families, especially the Sonozakis, united the village by turning them into scapegoats. So, they must have found it very shameful to have a fellow member of the three families approve of that, especially when it was the priest of the shrine that they had become that had become the symbol for the damn protests. As central figures in Hinamizawa, the three families were the backbone of the Onigafuji guardians, so difference of opinion was in undesirable. And the priest was never accused of anything. But secretly, people whispered that he was a heretic, that he was unfit to serve as Oyashiro-sama's priest that Oyashiro-sama's curse would soon strike him down, along with other rumors. He was pretty cool managing to keep his head and remain neutral while everyone around him grew fervent. I thought Mion would share my opinion when I chimed back in. So, when Mion gave me a forced smile and didn't agree with me, I was taken by surprise. 
本当に大人だったらあそこは周りに合わせて強調すべきところだったと思うねフルデのおじさんは単に神社の神主だっただけじゃなく仮にも御三家の一つフルデ家の長だったんだからさ南沢全体が結束しなくちゃならない時に模範となるべき御三家の人間がそれが大人と呼べるかどうかは私には難しいな。I was taken aback. I barely managed to say the following. <gasps> Even though we're identical twins, we still had our own unique identities. Every now and then our opinions differed, but usually only over some trivial matter. We've never had a difference of opinion this big. It wasn't an enjoyable feeling. I decided to probe her some more. Oh, no, no, you, Kyo Chio, the Kotoba, ga, Nanda ka ski ja nain desu kedo. つまりそれって何村全体を考えて神主さんは自分の考えを隠しているべきだったってそういう話要するに全体主義の中で「こう主張するな」とそういう話別にそこまでは言わないけどただそのやっぱり御三家の長の一人なんだからもう少し言動は慎重にしてもよかったんじゃないかって。そういうことだよ。ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、ミオン・フォルトは、ああ、But I wasn't mature enough to agree to such a to totalitarian idea. Or maybe it wasn't me at all. It was Mion who'd made that mature judgment. We've been separated for over a year. I've been away from the town. In the meantime, Mion was be has been trained to take over the headship of the Sonazaki family. She'd been treated as such even before I was confined to that institution. She sat next to the hag in ceremonies and in meetings. She took her place when the hag was absent. That was just it. We were never that different. Mion has become very like a successor since I've been gone. She seemed to get what I was implying. いつまでも下々と同じ考え方じゃまずいでしょさすが帝王学を学んだだけのことはあるそんなの学んでないよどうやればバッチャのふりができるかってそれだけだよシオンにだって簡単にできるよ<笑><笑>そんなのやりたくないですばあさんのおもりはミオンのお役目I didn't mean to be cold, but Mion seemed to take it that way. She smiled as if trying to pacify me. I smiled gently back at her. Oh, yes. Mion? What? What? I don't know. 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 体を引き離された時もいつもねミオン looked down with a serious face but then looked right back up あんたは私がそのあたりで逆恨みしてるんじゃないかって思ってるかもしれないでもそれはこそりゃ確かに確執はあったよでもそんなのは時間で流れる程度のものあんたが引け目を感じるようなことは何もない Up until birth, we were perfectly equal. Right after birth, we were separated by the grown ups' priorities. I used to get mad about it when I was little. There is no denying that. But we don't have to start a disagreement over it. Mio seems to understand what I'm trying to say. We each have our own characteristics, even though we're identical twins. Only we know the differences. We're also dependent on each other because of them. Mio seems more dependent. She always worries about me. 
If somebody gave her a cookie, she'd divide it in two and give one half to me. If somebody gave her a candy, she'd wait until I said it was okay to eat it. On the contrary, I'm cold. I don't care about others if I'm satisfied. I'd put the candy in my mouth right away. I, I have to emphasize that I don't hate her, and I'm well aware that she loves me. We both know that. Miel must have been hesitating to put the candy of the successor in her mouth and was waiting to see if I was okay with that. I tapped her forehead with my fist lightly. Mion put her forehead against my fist as if trying to feel the warmth. She's Mion, and I'm Shion. She's the successor of the Sonozaki family, and I'm just a vagabond. That isn't a distinction, but rather our individuality. We shouldn't worry too much about the other anymore. We should feel relaxed living as who we are, with our own characteristics. I didn't have to say any of that out loud. We can communicate by touch just like this. うん。ありがとう。しよう。頑張ろう、ミオ。困ったことがあったらいつでも相談して。私たちはいつだってそうやってきた。それはこれからも何も変わらないよ。うん。うん。ミオ kept nodding with her forehead against my fist. Yeah, they really did seem very close. I said goodbye to Mion before it turned to evening. We had talked about the things that had happened during my time away, and I enjoyed having that chat between sisters very much. We were able to dissolve our unsettled emotions. We didn't used to do that. Maybe it's because we hadn't seen each other for over a year. <sighs> it was late afternoon. My heart felt lighter now. I stretched and looked up at the sky. The sky was clear, blue, and far away. No matter how tall I grow, I'll never be able to touch that sky. I'm Shion Sonozaki, a girl who escaped from the life she was forced to live. Nobody will praise me for what I did and for what I'm going to do. But this is what I chose. <laughs> I psyched myself up. I should go shopping for dinner. Though I have Kasai's help, I need to save money. I love junk food, but it'd be cheaper to cook. Ironically, the culinary classes from that evil school will come in handy. Why not go to the shopping district in Kame Ishiki? Kame, Ka Kame Ishiki. Hmm? If I'm going there, then I need to take the other street. The cool breeze in the late afternoon felt nice on my skin. Hmm. Kasai came to the door while I was putting stuff I had bought into the fridge. お疲れ様です。買い物程度で疲れてちゃたまんないよ。あ、カサイも食べてく一人物にはスーパーの野菜の単位は大きすぎだしね。よろしいんですかお厄介になってもいいものでしたら、ぜひ。カサイ<笑
If somebody told me there was canned food in a, in a meal I just ate, I'd throw up. It started with a silly thing. Because I told me a horror story when I was little. You know, one of those urban legends. About meat made from an unknown source. Like those rumors about how there's worm meat mixed into burger patties or dog meat in beef bowls. Ew! Because I had fun telling me one of those... I would forgot to do... I... Why did I do that? Dog. Because I had fun telling me one of those stories because of how scared I got. He had fun, but I obviously didn't. I even started to cry in the canned food section of a supermarket. That's how much I hated it. I don't freak out like that anymore. But I still don't like canned food. Since I don't like it, I don't force myself, and I now live in my life naturally avoiding canned food. One of the big differences between us twins is that Mion doesn't have this issue. Kasai feels responsible for this, but he can't rid me of that fear. Still, a fall like this is actually a good thing, otherwise I'd be too perfect. <laughs> is it pronounced Kasai? Hmm. いい匂いですね。ごちそうになります。量が足りないと思ったら、あとは勝手に牛丼屋さんにでも行くこと。あ、テレビを切らないで。私は静かな食卓ってやつが苦手だから。では、いただきます。で、カサイ何の用だったの
I can tell she's being supportive. It's a long story, but my mom is sort of an outlaw, even though she's of the Sonozaki bloodline. A long time ago, she had a huge fight with the hag because she hated the family rules and traditions. She was even excommunicated. My mom was supposed to be the successor, but she was deprived of the title and Sis took her place instead. While she's quiet now, mom's still an outlaw. She's always been on my side because I also hate rules and traditions. なんか、ありがとう。また何かあったら教えてね。本当の本当に嫌ばくなったら私もこの町を離れるつもりだから。他歳とか吉郎おじさんとかそれに母さんとか世話になった人の顔は潰せないからね。おねえ。あんたが今
I felt like I was being sucked into the toilet. I couldn't even remember what caused it. Why did my aunt start screaming today? What the hell? So we're also seeing these moments with Satoshi now. Hmm. Damn. That was pretty sad, really. Good lord, that room looked like a mess. Or that room was a mess. Huh. Good lord, it's making me feel even worse for Satoko. Good god. So now we're not only seeing Shion's perspective, but we're also seeing Satoshi. I wonder if the tips will act like we can see through his perspective. See how things were going on. Hmm. You know what the funny thing is? I have this weird feeling that... I, okay, this is showing me how close Shion and Mion really were. But in the, event, the events of Onikakushi, Watanagashi, Tatori Goroshi, and all that stuff... Well, not Onikagushi, it was um, Watanagashi, that was when she was introduced. From Watanagashi onwards, into Tatari Goroshi, it, it seemed like they weren't very close. Like they were always at odds, or one was abusive in a way. Why do I have this feeling like... I, It's a stretch saying this, but I feel like Satoshi was involved in the dramatic change in Shion and Mion's relationship. Or maybe that's just a stretch. Hmm. Oh well. That's pretty much all I've got right now. I feel like Satoshi is involved. And it, this feels very weird seeing Shion and Mion acting like, well, real sisters. Hmm. Then again, this is in the past, so... Well... That's pretty much that. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and... I will definitely see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna be pondering on this for quite a while, I think.